Has now uh, closed very firmly and into the side making his debut is Steve McCahill signed from Dumbarton and he looks even already as if he's enjoying or going to enjoy this debut well the Lee United have taken up the warm-up stance at the wrong end of the ground as it were where Celtic normally are and indeed the last time they were beaten away from home was here at Celtic Park sort of something of revenge on their mind and here is a player that everybody is talking about, Kevin Gallagher. There are not a few Celtic supporters on the terracings who would like to see him wearing green and white hoops, but I think it would take a lot to dislodge him from Tanadise. And looking at his watch there, bringing the two opposing captains together as a referee for today, Derek Miller from Garahill. Well, the pitch is in a really remarkable condition considering the monsoons which have fallen this week. A very good testament for the ability of the ground staff here at Celtic Park. I'm sure they've had the work cut out. Very important game. This is Patalene and brings it down. There's Gallagher. Well, I don't care what Dundee United say. I'm quite sure that the game against Rangers will be looming large in their minds throughout this weekend and indeed during this game. And a man like David Neri is the backbone of the side and a broad pair of shoulders for an important couple of days for this club. But that's an awkward ball from a Cahill. That really was a test of a Cahill, high up in the air was always going to bounce very awkwardly for him but he kept his nerve and kept his eyes on the ball <laughs> Wallace Malthus, the Dundee United captain and Billy Stark operating as usual on the right that's not a bad ball across and Billy Thompson did extremely well brilliant ball from Mark McGee Well, there's a Celtic dugout there. You can't see them at the moment, but um, in the background, Coyne and Miller, almost about a million pounds worth of talent on the bench today, and that is some fair amount of armory to bring on when Billy McNeil thinks necessary. Evan, it's not a bad ball. There's quite a lane, and then he got his head to an uproar. Yes, he's angry because he realized there wasn't enough power behind it, but a very good jump. Now, Andy Walker. Rogan. Here's McStay. So they trying to spread the play a bit. And there is Billy Thompson, and I suspect that had a very nasty little curl in it at the end. Morris. Neri, uh, McStay in a very good position, well, that's excellent, and McGee made one turn too many. Celtic's best move in the game so far. Well, Mark McGee was really set up there, I think he might be annoyed with himself, he could have gone a bit more directly. You can see he tried to take the man on, beautifully laid back here. Yes, well, maybe a direct shot would have been a better option. Grant. Good anticipation there by Morris. Now Billy Stark. That's a useful ball and McGuinness behind it. Out come United. McAnally watching McStay very closely and I think that will go all the way through. Goal kick. Aiken coming up to Mark Pantelainen he's already shown very good signs in the air McGee did well on that oh that's a great save by Thompson Paul McStay wrecking that in Southern supporters love this 
This is really class. Nickley turned round to McGee and walked away. But McStay comes out to retrieve this. Now, that was really difficult. Great possession. And not enough angle in it. Played with great confidence along the back there by Dundee United. Just overdoing it though. Finds like forward and a bit of a misunderstanding. Just worked out for United. Well, free kick on towards Battalene and Morris is here. Here's Battalene with a chance. Can't put it away and Celtic are in set. I think they're claiming that Patalini was pushing to get possession of that ball. Well, we shall see. The powerful players? No, I don't think it was. I think it was the awkwardness of the bounce that deceived the Celtic defence. McGee did well there. McGuinness. David Neri. Patalini. Ball still in play. Celtic up the throw. One good effort by Paul McStay in his game. Looks promising this afternoon there is McKinley and then a very stop. Stop picked that up very well indeed. Yet again, not an easy chance. Back it wet to him, falling down. Look at the way he took it on the drop. That's excellent finishing, you know. Walker. Yes. One's beginning to tick and just touched away. Walker. Logan giving that support. And there's McAnally. Held that brilliantly. Well, there's a run through by. Oh, it's Mark McGee, and it must be in. It is. No. Offside. Offside has been given. The linesman on the far side of his flag up and just watch us going through and there was McGee, the goalkeeper touched it and in went Andy Walker but the goalkeeper oh, was well out and the referee gave offside for that. Andy Walker, McGee tries to move forward. And there's Billy Thompson, and that is great goalkeeping. He really is informed, Thompson. And not only have you to be informed, you've got to be courageous. Now, would you like to do this? Oh. Well, you missing out that one. What a good football by Celtic and a superb ball by Paul McStay. This is Burns. Well, he just didn't quite have the legs to beat this man, Bowman. Well, that was about with speed. McGee. And now Urban. And then that'll be a corner kick, yes. Urban a little over casual. Tremendous pressure in this United defence, but of course, they're accustomed to it. Dangerous! Can't get it away yet. And that is almost a no. He couldn't keep it in. Oh, there it was. I said they've been going through intense pressure at the moment, United. That went a begging yet again. 
They haven't been clearing out of the penalty area cleanly at all. And Walker couldn't give it in. And on counts Paul Hegarty for the injured McGuinness. That, of course, is no loss for United. McGee is onside. Oh, no, he's annoyed with himself. And that is the second occasion, somehow or other, against this quite excellent defence, he's been left uncovered to run through. To Irvin. Bowman. quite find Gallagher he's been very closely marked not surprisingly Paul Hegarty is up goes beyond Fatalena this time good play by Morris he really commits himself well, the New United beginning to string it together a little more now Irvin Nice turn of pace by Evan again, that's a useful ball. And Bonner's in very good form, seeing the ball well, early and confidently. Peter Grant working hard for Celtic in midfield. Roy Aiken has hardly come forward like this in the game. And that's not clear with any great confidence, but there's Hegarty. Players have been caught too much in midfield with the ball now from the United. It's just full now for McStay. Stop. And that's it. McGee. A very difficult chance to take. Of the first half left, now watch this, extremely difficult, and he slid in and hammered it past Billy Thompson. Great finishing. And that comes at a marvellous time for Celtic. Just before half time. What a buy this has been by Billy McNeil. the half-time whistle. Celtic leading by one goal to nothing. A very fine strike yet again by this man who came back to Scottish football from Hamburg and proving that he was worth every Deutschmark or whatever it was he paid to get him back. Great goal by McGee. And yet again we can show you the difficulty of it. I mean he, he didn't have any margin for error whatsoever as he went for this it wasn't the best of balls across what a speculative ball than anything else nothing speculative about the way he put it in the back of the net we'll look back to that disallowed goal by the way when i was looking at it the first time i, I was watching the linesman seeing if he put his flag up for mcgee running forward but he didn't one therefore has to assume that it was andy walker eventually who was given offside but celtic deservedly in that one goal lead at half time. Well, as United kick off at the start of the second half, I must say I'm still puzzling over that disallowed goal, that offside decision. I couldn't really see anything wrong with it myself, from my angle anyway. And uh, United might have been two down. Celtic deserved it, I believe. Got the impression they really want to win this one. Taken by McKinley. Ooh, that's uncertainty there, all right. And I think Roy Aiken was looking at uh, Bonner as if he had come out too late. Well, hadn't even come out at all. And I think it was McCahill got in there. Yes, a degree of uncertainty at the start of the second half. Well, that's much better. 
by Bonner. More like him. Well, it seemed to be a pull on McGee. But uh, hopefully he just got away from that. Well, just watch this again. A very awkward one indeed. Billy Thompson came round. No, I think the momentum of McGee more than anything else push him away from it. A beautifully taken there by McAnally. That's a neat one to Pantelainen. Not all that far away. Yes. That is one of the few occasions when the Dundee United have been able to pick a little gap in the Celtic defence. The big Finnish internationalist slightly off. I think he was falling back and I'd give it too much angle. Hegarty <laughs> just getting now. Paul McStay trying to get an opening. And facing today a very good goalkeeper. Wasn't an easy chance for McStay one against one and he managed to drag the defense around and get it Thompson a lot of wrestling going on there and Roy Aiken once again stepping in brilliantly there's McAnally oh Gallagher a lot of football in him and brought down a very intelligent player indeed Hegarty is up much too obvious though a little more subtle than that Nothing very much that uh, Anton Rogan could do about that. Gallagher, who's been marked very closely in this game, hasn't succeeded all that much in getting away from his markers. That's a neat little ball in there. And it's a corner kick. And you get indications now that the Dundee United are being able to find the weaknesses in this Celtic defence, working at them very well. Try to line it up. Hegarty! No, I didn't really make firm contact with that. More a sandwich shot, this I think. Up and over. Good touch by McGee. Well, the Cahill playing steadily. Urban. Oh. McGee. I think he might let fly and he does. Like the ball he got in the first place. Adelaine in. Now being caught in possession yet again. Now Walker. He was just falling slightly off balance as he went for that. Here's Evan to Gallagher. Play by McKinley and Catalina. Wow, how did he miss that one? Yes, he's annoyed. Brilliant piece of play by McKinley. Now, watch this. Not bad for a youngster. Look at that little shimmy. 
And where was the finish head? Here is Coyne. Tommy Coyne making his first team debut at Celtic Park. Well, he gets a touch right away. Excellent D United player, of course. Well, it's not a bad ball in. Well, what an introduction. I think the Dundee United players, well, this gave me the impression they were rather put off by seeing him come on. with a chance laying it back well, already he's played a very significant part the up and under again Chris Morris is there and plays confidently Here's Gallagher. There goes Stark. And as Gallagher followed him back, he has to. And that, from one of the best in the in the field, is a corner kick. Chris Morris. Great pace. And. Uh, any defence it takes, the eyes off him could suffer. Towering up there and away by David Neri. Grant looking for a one-two. Tommy Burns. Easy one that time. There's Morris. To McGee. Drags out ball run well. Well, well Coin getting himself into very good positions immediately. And looking good. Mark you, Mark McGee really fed him well. Just a trifle unfortunate, couldn't get run to it. It's deep. Once again, capably dealt with. And not a United player on the left. Pollard goes Wallace again. Will they start? Offside. Good run by the fullback all the same. Did all the right things, fed it initially, and then went through for a return. And there goes the final whistle. Celtic winning by one goal to nothing. There's the goal scorer. I wouldn't say it absolutely ends Dundee United's title hopes, but let's just put it this way. I think they must regard Monday's game in the Cup against Rangers uh, even more seriously and of greater importance now for the end of the season. Yes, a victory which I felt Celtic thoroughly deserved and one which maintained their record of having failed to score only once in 20 domestic matches at Parkhead this season. The scorer of that vital goal, Mark McGee, was only too willing to show his delight when I spoke to him after the game. I was especially pleased to get a goal today. I haven't scored against them, I don't think, since I arrived at Parkhead. And obviously, these are the sort of games that likes of Frank Slybel to get a goal. So with him missing, it was important that either Andy and myself got a goal, and I did, so I'm pleased. And a good goal as well, because it was very well worked, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I came in from the left-hand side, and as soon as I saw uh, Billy getting on the ball, I thought, you know, he's liable to do something like that, because he's that sort of intelligent sort of player, you know, we expect that sort of class, I think, from him, and it, it arrived at must be perfectly. Now, I know that no one at Parkhead has uh, given up over this league title yet, and today was a very important two points, wasn't it? Well, I mean, really, we have to win all our games, and... Uh, these are uh, the Dundee United games are going to be among the most difficult to win and we've done it so we're still in, uh, right, right there you know 
You mentioned Frank McAvenny's name, obviously he's been in the headlines this week, Mark. Was there a feeling among the team today that you wanted to go out and, and prove something without him? Well, not so much prove anything, we've nothing to prove, you know, we all know that everyone that's left here are good players as well, you know, so we, we just wanted to go out and we knew there was a responsibility on uh, those forwards that were playing instead of Frank to, to do the business and we've done it. Chris Morris got man of the match and without taking anything away from Chris, can I just mention someone who seems to get an awful lot of unfair criticism, Big Roy Aiken, I thought he was immense today. Well, I mean, I've always been a great admirer of Roy and today he played really, really well because it was important for him to be confident and help really help out the boy Macaho. And he's done that and the lad to come on and he had a great game as well.